Today we're not making spaghetti carbonara. Some might say it looks like carbonara and tastes like carbonara and has the mouthfeel of carbonara, the substances which make up carbonara, and even the personality of carbonara. But this is not carbonara. The first thing we're gonna do is chop up some bacon. That's how you know this isn't carbonara, because if you were making carbonara, you'd be using guanciale. You see, bacon comes from a pig, whereas guanciale comes from a completely different animal known as an Italian hog. Oh my god, it looks like a jumping Italian horse. You wouldn't make a hamburger with tiger meat, would you? I really hope not. Tigers are expensive. Carbonara is typically made with egg yolks, which is irrelevant since that's not what we're making. Don't accidentally use egg yokels because banjo music really ruins this dish. We'll just do the classic hold the yolk with your thumb trick. You can also do the back and forth and whoops, maybe no fourth. Then make the traditional Italian egg white on toast as an appetizer. Mmm. This is Pecorino Romano, which you would use if you're making carbonara, which we are not. It gets its name because the Romans who made it had huge pecs. So did the goats, they worked out together. If you want to shred your pecorino more easily, you can take a drill, put in a nice big fat screw, then you just... Okay, so, whoop, all right. If I just maybe, okay, let's try. <laughs> no. Hmm. <laughs> See, in my mind when I thought of this, none of the physics of how objects work would be an issue. If you're Italian, you don't need to innovate in this department because you simply harness the power of your hand gesture muscles, which makes this a breeze. So grate that into the egg yolk and wang jangle until you've got Cadbury cream egg filling. Then we'll add some pepper, 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 and we're good to go. And by go, I mean stay because we're not done yet. The original carbonara was made with handcrafted artisan spaghetti from the Veneto region. Each spaghetti craftsperson had their signature style. Sadly, these days you can only find straight parallel line spaghetti. And you know, it just really angers me that the craft has been left to die like nobody cares. Now, let's just fix that. Breaking spaghetti in half is a crime in Italy and can land you in prison for up to nine months. It sounds like an overreaction at first, but the crack sends a shock wave through the noodle, rendering it completely Edible. I mean, look, here's uncracked spaghetti and cracked spaghetti. If I didn't tell you that was spaghetti, you wouldn't have even recognized it. Now we'll salt this angry water, then throw in 156 pieces of spaghetti. Keep wang jangling that for the first bit to keep the spag from getting clingy. By the way, spaghetti gets its name because you put it in the spa to cook it. Now our bacon is cooked. We're turning the burner off, waiting for this to cool, at least until there's no sizzle left, and a bit longer so we don't overcook the egg-based sauce. Now I'm gonna put in a bit of pasta water into our sauce ingredients to get that cheese a head start on the melting. Noodles go straight from the water into the bacon pan for a wang jangulation. Since noodles are made of wheat, this is essentially a bacon sandwich. But if you do strain the spaghetti, make sure to set aside some pasta water. And if you get the kind of spaghetti with dehydrated meatballs, just pull those out and set them aside. Then the sauce can go in and the egg will cook just enough from the noodle heat. Although you can put your pan on low to thicken it as well because here comes more pasta water making this nice and creamy. The reason we add pasta water is so that if you get thirsty while you eat it, you don't have to stop and have a drink. Here I'm trying to do that fancy twist thing, but it's not the right tool and I don't know what I'm doing. We'll finish with some pepper, 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 and some more pecorino or parmesan, and here we don't have carbonara. If you want to really see not carbonara, here's an earlier attempt where I used whole egg. Too much heat, and for some reason this came out way worse than my first attempt with whole egg, which came out great. So are the whims of the food gods. If this was carbonara, you'd have to be careful because the carbonistic properties are so fragile that if you put in a single pea, it would no longer be carbonara. It's a mysterious chemical reaction that only attacks Italian scientists understand. I'm craving carbonara, but I don't have guanciale. Should I really even bother? Oh no, no. Will they judge my carbonara? Cause I want some cream upon it. Should I eat it in the closet? Oh,